Hello and welcome to Game Guru. This is part 3 of a tutorial on how to make your own scene. I'm starting off straight away in the scene here. Um, you can see, if you watched the last episode, that I've fixed the uh, silly trees that were, or the bushes that were rolling down the hill. They're all now fixed on the floor. Down in me because I have to there's nothing worse than having collision on bushes like that. It's like, yeah, you just push them out of the way. So, yeah, that's looking a lot better. I've just added a tiny bit of road down there, a bit more grass. This is the point of doing it on the video. And that's about it. I've got the hills better. They're still not as good as they were originally, I don't think. I think I've been tweaking too much. And I've widened the road a little bit, so it looks a little bit more like it. I've also lifted the building up so it's at the right height and the, the grass isn't showing. So it's sorted now in there. And that's about it. I've still got this. Now I've been I've thought about this and I've, I've done it before to be honest. Um, to make it look like it's actually going under the ground rather than being the same height, which obviously it is, um, you could just sort of build it into the floor. You could sort of dip the floor down. I might try and do that. I'll get back to the main map now. Right. Okay. I don't know whether to try and do that. I think I'm going to get this hill just a bit smoother all round. Because I don't, I, you know, it's not very realistic looking like that at the moment. So, let's just go into hill mode. Or raise lower terrain mode, I should say. But I think of it as hill mode. And I'm just going to some hills around there, that'll look silly there, but I'll just get a bit down a bit. Round. Now go to hill. That now, let's do a bit more hill. A bit more hill. Just a tiny bit. And now to the hill tool. Trying to get it to match the, the side of that a bit better. Right clicking a bit just to lower it there. It's just basically play about when you're doing this sort of thing. A bit higher and heal. But, yeah, I'm going to run it. We'll find out. Right, quickly. I'm sort of in the middle. Like, oh, I'll do it there first. That's, that's fine. That's all fine. This actual hill look like a bit too blobby. like it. It's not just sheer walls everywhere. You can have a bit. I mean, that looks fine. Let's, let's go and have a look from further away. See how it looks from a distance. I must admit, I spend a lot of time checking out my levels from every angle. It's not looking too bad. Looks like a bit of, bit of tweaking still needed. Yeah, okay, right. I don't want to get too distracted. This. You, can, you get the idea, I can get that looking better, and I will do, or I'll do that off camera, we'll carry on, we'll move on to something new. Right, over here, um, I want something a little bit different, um, I to 
move this down and go across or turn it this way, which we do. Oh no, right, well, doesn't matter. So let's shrink it down. Yeah, about that big. Now I'm gonna make sure I'm on lower and higher. Right click and knock the terrain down and we can see we've got some lovely water. Um, I can just keep just clicking, right clicking to do it, or I can go to level mode. Click there, like that. That's now leveled into that. Oh, it's not as good as that, but well, it depends what you want. Uh, and now go to stored level mode, and I'll just let me do a nice river for you. Well, I'm not going to bother going too far with it yet. Spend it a bit. Ooh, there we go, that'll do. That's nice and easy. You can always lump it up a bit. You know, if it's a bit flat for you, you can lump it up after. Or you can just keep doing it the way I started off with just the raise and lower. Uh, that's a nice little river, quick and easy. And that's what we want. Right, I'm just going to get the path up to it. That will do. Uh, and the grass up. Bigger with a plus key there. La 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 la. There we go. Well, that that that'll do. That'll do. And this old one, a bit of grass. I mean, I should just go mad here. Come on. Let's let's get it a bit bigger and just. So it's difficult to fight draw very uh, <laughs> accurately with his big but it makes it easier just to stick some grass down. The purposes of making this faster. Oh, look, a tutorial where you're watching the paint grass. So there we go, that's some grass. Quickly stick down. down a bit uh, and I'll wait actually I've got it sort of ready we want to put a bridge on here we might actually want to because I think it's a bit it's a bit of a drop there so I'm going to just put a little bit of an edge on it so we go back to the flatten mode zoom in a bit so we can see what we're doing and try and find a halfway medium now go to stored, because so that'll be the same height as that, and just move that along the edge. All the way. Along. Makes it look less of a drop. You'll know when I run it. Uh, I can do the same on this side because it's stored. Probably going a bit far on the edge here, but I'll like say you can just keep playing around as you like. Yeah, and that's enough. I've, I've gone too big on that. We're not going to get there. It's not, I'm not designing a huge map. Right. Okay, that's sort of looking okay. I suppose I better do it this way as well. Does it look a bit strange? Uh, same here. That'll do. In fact, now I might as well just do it all the way. I could have carried on later on, because you can always sort of get the height back. But... Right, that's going to look a little bit better. Not massively great, I don't think. Um, I don't know whether to smooth it up a bit. Let's smooth it up a bit, just near here for now. I'm not going to spend 
too much time on the entire thing, just the one where we're going to be near it. lower the land up quite a bit more to get that looking great but you can see it's nice and easy to add we've got a nice river in there already and we've got our nice scenic hill but obviously I've got to fill a bit of scenery and stuff to make it look good for this angle because obviously it looks a bit empty at the moment that's not looking too bad right um, Shall we change the look? It's all bright and sunny. I'll show you a few things to do with that. So if you press tab, which you'll have seen me done before, but I've never told you it's tab, but it is in the instructions, uh, you'll get your frames per second, all the different stats you need there, polygons, draw calls, not that you probably know what all of that means. Polygons is fairly obvious, draw calls isn't so obvious, but obviously the higher the number, the slower it's going to go. The lower the number, the better it performs. Um, just as a rule of thumb. Um, occlusion, just ignore that for now. That isn't really... I don't think it's operational yet. It could be. If it is, then that would be great. That would actually speed things up when things get busy. Um, and yeah, the rest are all fairly self-explanatory. Uh, but we've got all sorts of sliders. We can change all your quality of everything, so I've got the shadows at 60% at the moment, it's basically the darkness, 100 they'll be fully dark, I think that looks a bit out over the top myself, um, I'll just pop it up, see, there you go, depends what you want, you might prefer that, I'd prefer to have them a bit less. Right, now you can change the simple things here, you can change the sky, so mm, let's go, we've got red, just so it's nice, light's not really different, you can see instantly change the look of it, now we'll try a different one. seen the cartoon level, obviously, it's one of the newer things for the release. Whoa! Okay, the edge looks a bit strange there, I'd have to raise the hills to avoid that skybox error, but yeah, that looks, looks weirdly good with my uh, church there. Oh, I'll leave it on that for now. <laughs> holy, holy crap, look at it. Yeah. Right, well, yeah, you can see you can definitely change the scene a lot. It's definitely made the place look a, di a different, totally different world. You don't see many rainbows like that. Whoa. Anyway, yeah. Um, anything else I can change? Um, the terrain type. So, you know, if I want a desert instead, I'll go to desert. And this will change the floor. See, in the distance it's all deserty now instead of grassy. But we don't want that. This is lush. Oh, this looks pretty nice actually. Vegetation type, that's your grass. So, now you won't have all these because I've got quite a few extras, but um, you'll have quite a few I think as default. Uh, what can we try? We'll try grass 07. There we go, that's a different grass. So you can get a bit of variety. Well, you can't get variety between, unfortunately, it's only one type of grass. It's something I've asked for for a, a while now. If we could mix and match the grass types per level, that would be just far better, because then you can have all those grasses all over the place, or at least a few of them. 
can't say it's been that hard to add, but this is a tutorial, not a, a discussion on Game Guru. Um, yeah, <laughs> I just I just love the uh, the bright colour of it. It's Wizard of Oz, right? Um, yeah, I'd say that's about it for now. I'm just gonna quickly add a bridge. So let's go to new entity. Um, yeah, not, not press a key. We can go ding. To all the bridges. Um, um, we'll go for that one. Not that it really needs. R key to rotate. Now, if I hold, hold control and R, I can then do fine tune it so I can get it to actually look about right. Um, page up will allow me to change the height. Up across, perhaps not. Touch down a bit. You want to get it. Try that. Let's just knock it down. Thankfully, it stays at the same height when you've uh, set it once. If you don't use page up, page down, it will go to the height of the floor, so you'll have difficulty. So I always tend to do that just before placing a bridge. Come on, there we go. Right, that should be fairly good. If not, I can probably edit the terrain easier than the objects now. We've got a bridge across our river. And that's it for now. Next episode, I'm going to make a cave. And then we're going to get to AI. Um, so until next time, I'll catch you later.